Hello everyone, welcome to the AWS Partner Showcase, Season 1, Episode 2. I'm your host of theCUBE, John Furrier. We're here with two great guests, Pujan Kumar, CEO of Clumio, and Sabina Joseph, the General Manager of AWS. Welcome to the show, welcome to, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, John, good to see you again. Great to see both of you, both CUBE alumni. Great to see how the business is, is going, going very well, cloud scale, continuing to dominate. Clumio is doing extremely well. Tell us more about what's going on at Clumio. What's your mission? What kinds of use cases are you seeing now, Pujan, that's helping you guys keep your growth trajectory and solve your customer problems? Yeah, firstly, thank you, John. Thank you, Sabina. It's great to be here. Clumio is a, is a backup as a service platform that's built natively on AWS for AWS. And we do support other use cases beyond AWS, but our, our primary mission is to basically deliver you know, a ransomware data protection solution, you know, on AWS for AWS customers, right? But if we think about it, you know, one of the things that's, you know, typically holding back any company to put mission critical workloads on a fantastic platform, a public cloud platform like AWS is to make sure that the data is protected in the event of any attack. And it's also done with extreme amount of simplicity right? So that nobody is doing the heavy lift of doing backup themselves, right? So that's what really Clumio provides. It's a service, it's a turnkey service that provides, you know, data protection on AWS for AWS. Well, you're a frequent CUBE alumni. We're always talking about the importance of that, but I want to ask you this year more than ever, you're seeing it at the center of the conversation built in from day one. You're seeing a lot more threats, certainly you mentioned ransomware and more. There's more and more online attacks that's impacting this particular area more than ever before. Can you comment on what your focus has been this year around that? Yeah, I see if, if you think about Clumio's evolution, our primary mission has been to go and protect you know, every data source, but guess what, right? With more and more move to the public cloud, you know, look at just AWS's journey, that pioneer in public cloud growing from, you know, whatever, 3 billion in, in revenues 10 years ago to north of 70 billion run rate today, there's so much of data that is in the public cloud and the and the most important thing that you know customers need is they want to free themselves from going and protecting this data themselves right and the, and there's a lot of scale in these environments right if you look at customers running hundreds of thousands of aws accounts across every region on aws and if you give them that kind of you know flexibility and that kind of scale what they want is give me a turnkey solution that just allows me to go and protect all of these workloads running across all of these regions in a service that takes the data out of my accounts separately in an air gap fashion, right? And that's really what, you know, we basically provide and that's what we focused on over the last 12 months, right? So if you look at what we've done is we've gone after every important service on AWS, EC2, EBS, RDS, S3, Dynamo, SQL databases and other databases running on top of EC2. So now that becomes the comprehensive set of things that somebody needs to use to really deliver an application on top of the public cloud. And that's what we go and protect. And the growth has been there and the results on Amazon because the refactoring has been huge. Can you share any examples of uh, some successes that you've had with, with the AWS refactoring and all that good stuff going on? Yeah, I mean, basically what we have seen is, you know, customers have basically told us that before you guys existed, we had to go and build these things ourselves, right? Again, you know, they had all the, the, the blocks to go and do it themselves, but it was so much of a heavy lift to go and do it themselves. And again, they didn't want to be in, uh, you know, in, in that business. So, so what we have done essentially for, and we have, you know, we have some joint customers uh, at a pretty massive scale that basically have said that, okay, let me just use your solution to protect my critical assets, like, you know, things, you know, sitting in S3, and really, you know, use Clumio as a as a service for those. Yeah, and I think that's a great example of the refactoring. Sabine, I gotta I gotta ask you. You obviously you're at the center of this. You have your hand on the wheel of the partnerships and all the innovators out there. The growth of AWS just has been spectacular because there's value being created. Again, companies are refactoring their business on the cloud, and you're at the center of it. So talk about the partnership with Clumio. Can you tell us how it all started and and, and where it's going? Yeah, thanks for having me here, John, and good to see you again, Pujan. If I'm not mistaken, Pujan, we met each other at the San Francisco Summit, the AWS San Francisco Summit, actually. I believe it was in 2016 or 2017. You can correct me if I'm wrong here. Uh, but, right? Yes, I think so. It was it was in the it was in the month of April. I still remember it. 
And that's when, you know, you kind of mentioned to me about Clumio and this modern backup as a service solution that you were creating. It was still in stealth mode. So you couldn't talk a lot about it. And we started to engage deeply on the partnership right from 2017. And initially, um, we were kind of focused around helping Clumio build a solution using our well-architected review. And then as soon as Clumio came out of stealth mode, we started to engage more deeply around deeper integrations and also on go-to-market activities. As you know, AWS has a very prescriptive approach to our partnerships. So we started to work with Clumio around the uh, five pillars of security, reliability, cost optimization, performance, and operational excellence to really help them tune the solution on AWS. And we also started to engage with our service teams. And I have to thank Poojan and his team here. They really embraced those deeper and broader integrations, many services that Poojan mentioned, but also specifically want to mention S3 EBS. And uh, Clumio was also a launch partner for AWS Outposts when AWS in fact launched Outposts. So I want to kind of commend Clumio and the entire team kind of embracing this technology and innovation and this modern backup as a service approach. Um, and also, uh, also embracing how we want to focus on the five key pillars that I mentioned. And that's a great example of success when you ride the wave. Um, Pujan, talk about the Clumio uh, trends in the data protection, because one of the things that we, you pointed out earlier is the ransomware, okay? That's a big one, right? That's a big hot area. How, how is the cloud, first of all, how is that going? And then how has the cloud equation changed the ransomware defense and protection piece of it? Yeah. No, I'll, I'll, I'll just I want to add a little bit on what Sabina mentioned before I answer the question, John, if you don't mind. Sure. But I think that collaboration is where is the reason why we are here today, right? Like if you think about it, like we were the first design partners to go and build, you know, with the EBS direct API, right? Uh, you know, and we work closely with the EBS teams, not just for the APIs, but the cost structure of it. How would somebody like us use it? So we're at the bleeding edge of some of these services that we are using. And that has enabled us, you know, to be where we are today. So again, thank you very much, Sabina, for, for this fantastic partnership. And again, there's so much to go and do to really go and nail this in a, in a, in a, in a great way on, on the public cloud. So now coming back to your question, John, uh, you know, fundamentally, if you see, right, you know, what happened is when, when, when customers move to the public cloud, you know, right there, you know, the ease of use with which, you know, AWS provides these services, right? and the consumption of these services actually drives some amazing behavior, right? Where people actually want to go and build, build, build and build. But then it comes a time where somebody comes in and says, okay, you know, do, are you compliant, right? You know, do you have the right compliance in place? You have all these accounts that you have, but what is running in each of these accounts? You have visibility in those accounts and are these accounts and the data in these accounts, yeah. is this air gap, right? Is this air gap in the same region? Or does it need to be across regions, right? You know, I'm I'm in the east. Do I need to, you know, have it air gapped in the west, and so on and so forth, right? So all of these, you know, confluent of all these things come in. And by the way, all these problems existed in on-premises world. Yeah. It just they get translated in in the public cloud. Where do I need to replicate my data? Do I need to back it up? Do I need air gapped in a like an on-prem world? You had a data domain appliance which was separate from your primary storage for a reason. Same similar something similar now needs to happen here for compliance reasons and for ransomware reasons. So a lot of parallels here, it's just that here we are, it almost feels like, you know, as they say, right? The more things change, the more they remain the same. Exactly. But the reality is that's what it is in the public cloud again. Well, that's a good point. I mean, let's take that example of on-premises versus the cloud. Also the cloud's got more scale too, by the way. So now you got regions. This is a common problem that customers are having. You can build your own and or use solutions, but if you don't get ahead of it, the compliance question can bite you in the you know what, because you then got to go back and retrofit everything. So if you, so that's kind of what I hear a lot on my end is like, okay, I want to be compliant from day one. I want to have an answer when asked. I don't want to have to go to old techniques that don't fit the cloud. That comes up a lot. What's your answer to that? Yeah, no, no pr pretty much, right? I think it's like, you know, when it, when it comes to compliance and all of these things, you know, people at the end of the day are looking for that same foundation of, of things. The same questions are asked or oh, encryption, you know, 
you know is my, is my data where it needs to be when it needs to be right uh, what is my you know recovery point objective what is my recovery time objective you know all of these things basically come this uh, you know together and now as you said it's just the scale that you're dealing is is extremely different uh, in in the cloud and the and the services right the the easier it is that you know it is to use these services and especially what aws does makes it so easy so compelling that same ease of use needs to get translated with a saas service like what you know we are doing with data protection right that that ease of use is very important you have to preserve that sanctity Sabina, let's get back to you. You mentioned earlier about the design part and that benefits for Clumio. Now let's take it to the next level. As customers really realize they have a problem, um, they need solutions and you're on the AWS side, so you got to have answers for the customers. You got to put people together, make things work. There's a variety of things that you guys offer. What are some of the different facets of the ISV or the partner programs that you offer to partners like Clumio that they can benefit from? Absolutely, John. Uh, we believe in a win-win approach to the partnerships because that's what makes partnerships durable over time. We're always striving to do better here and we continue to broaden our investments. As you know, John, uh, the AWS management team, right from Adam Silipsky, our CEO down, firmly believe that partners are critical to our success, our long-term success. And as partners like Clumio, work to lean in with us with more investment, resources, uh, technology, innovation. We also ensure that we are doing our part by providing value back to Clumio. Uh, about a few years ago, as you might recall, right? Uh, we really did a lot of investment in our sales team on the AWS side. But one of the things me and also our partners observed is, while we were making investments in the AWS sales team, I don't think we were doing a great job at helping our partners with reaching out to those customers, what we call as COSAL. And partners gave us feedback on this. We are very partner and customer feedback driven. And we introduced, in fact, a new role called the ISV Success Manager, ISMs, who are basically embedded in our field and they work with partners to help them close opportunities and also net new opportunities. Uh, we've also in 2020, I believe at reInvent, we launched the ISV Accelerate program uh, whereby we offer incentives to the AWS field team to work with our partners to close existing opportunities and also bring in net new opportunities. So all of this has led to closer collaboration in the field between both our field teams, Clumio's field team and our field team, but also accelerated mutual customer wins. I'm not saying that we are doing everything great. We still have a long ways to go and we are constantly getting feedback from Clumio and also some of our other key partners and we'll continue to get better at it. But I think the role of the ISV success manager and also the ISV Accelerate program has been key to bringing in COSAL success. Pooja, what's your um, take on, is this a good partnership for you? I mean, obviously the wave of, of AWS has got the growth numbers, you mentioned that, but from a partnership standpoint, you're closing business, they got scale, is it working? How do you organize your company to take advantage of these benefits? Can you share your thoughts? Absolutely, no, we have embraced the ecosystem wholeheartedly 100%. Right? If you think about it, what we have done is, you look at our offering on AWS Marketplace, just an example, right? We are the only company I would say in our, in our domain, obviously, that routes our entire business through AWS Marketplace. Whether, and obviously we get a lot of organic benefit from AWS Marketplace. People go and search for a, for a solution and Clumio shows up and obviously they go and onboard, self onboard themselves. And guess what? We let them self onboard themselves and we rely on AWS's billing automatically. So you don't need to talk to us. You can just get billed automatically in your AWS bill and you get your data protection solution. Or if you directly reached out to us, guess what we do? We actually route you through AWS Marketplace. All the onboarding is just through one place and it's a fantastic experience. So we have gone like all in on that experience and have completely like, you know, internalized that that's the right way to do things. And of course, thanks to, you know, Sabina's team and the Marketplace team to have created that platform so that we could actually plug in into it. But that's the kind of benefits that we have that we have you know, taken advantage of with AWS. That's one example. The other example that Sabina mentioned, right? Which is this whole ACE program. We put a ton of registrations on ACE and with all the wins that we get on AWS, 
they get broadcasted to the sellers. So that creates its own vicious cycle in terms of more coming in into the pipeline and, and more closing in. So, so these are just two small examples, but there's other examples. If you look at our recent press release where yeah. AWS, you know, when, when we when we launched S3 data protection and backup, the GM of AWS S3 supported us in the press release. So there's things like that, that it's a, it's a fantastic collaboration that's working really well for our joint customers. Sabina, tell us something about the partnership between AWS and Clumio that people might not be aware of or some of the things that Pujan said that they're different out there that, that are co-selling, co-marketing that you guys offer people you guys work together on. What is yeah, the, the ISV Accelerate program that was created, it was really created with partners like Clumio and mine, our SaaS partners. I think that, that is something very, very unique between our partnership. And you know, I, I want to double click on what uh, Pujan said, which is routing their opportunities through marketplace, right? All of their opportunities. That is something pretty unique. Uh, they understand the uh, richness of the platform and also how customers are procuring software today in this world. And they've embraced that. Uh, and we really appreciate that. Um, and I want to say, you know, another thing about Clumio is they're all in on AWS, which is another unique team. There are not a lot of, I would say, all in partnerships in my world. Mm -hmm. And I manage infrastructure, business apps, applications and industry partnerships uh, from the Americas globally. And all of those things are very, very unique in our partnership, which has led to success, right? We started very, very early stage when uh, Clumio was in stealth mode in 2017 and look where we've come today. And it's really kudos to Poojan and his entire team for believing in the partnership, for leaning in with us and for placing that trust with us. That's awesome. Poojan, any final words you'd like to share for folks out there about um, the conversation and, and, and what's going on at Clumio? Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, you know, as I said, I think uh, we have been fortunate to be very early adopters of all these technologies and go and really build what a true cloud native solution has to be, right? And, and again, right, you know, this is what customers are, are really looking for. And people are looking for, you know, at least on the data protection side, you know, a ransomware, air gap solution. People are looking for a, a solution natively built on the cloud because that's the only way a solution can deliver something at the scale and at the cost structure that is needed to have a you know a data protection solution in the public cloud. So so this has been just just a, a fantastic thing end to end you know for us overall, and we really look forward to you know going and you know doing much more with AWS as we essentially go and scale our business. I have to ask before before we go because you're the CEO of the company and founder, um, having all that back end infrastructure from Amazon just on the resources great it creates a market for your product, but also the sales piece. You know they got the marketplace you mentioned. That's a big expense that you don't have to carry, you know, and you get revenue on top line. I mean, that's an impact for startups out there and growing companies. That's a pretty big deal. What's your, what's your uh, advice to folks out there who are trying to think about the buy versus use the leverage of the, of the marketplace, which is, which is at large scale. Cause as a CEO, you're, you've got to make these decisions. What's your um, opinion on that? It's it's not it's not as as easy as uh, you know I make it sound. <laughs> to do your own part, uh, you know. AWS is 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 huge, right? Is huge, uh, and so we have to do our part to educate everybody within the you know even the AWS seller base to make sure that they internalize the fact that this is the right solution for the customers for our joint customers, right? So we we have to do that all day long. So there's no running away. There's no shortcut to everything, but obviously. AWS does its part to make it very as easy as possible, but there's a lot of heavy lifting we still have to do. And I think that will only become easier and easier over the next few years. And Sabina, your take at, at AWS, you've got a great job. You work with all the hot growth companies. This is the big wave we're on right now with the cloud, next generation clouds here, a lot of opportunities. Absolutely, and it's and it's uh, thanks to Poojan and partners like Clumio that really understand what it takes to build a cloud native solution because it's part of it is building and part of it is the co-selling, the go-to-market engine, and embracing both of that is critical to success. Well, thank you both for coming on this journey here on the Cube as part of the showcase. Poojan, great to see you. Sabina, great to see you as well, and thanks for sharing that insight. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Okay, this Thank is you. the AWS Partner Showcase, Speeding Innovation with AWS. I'm John Furrier, host of theCUBE. Thanks for watching.